Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a single recipe video that I want to share with you guys. I was going to do a what I eat in a day video, but I just thought this would be more useful to share the one recipe that I wanted to share with you guys, which is broccoli cheddar baked potato. This is so good and so easy. So you want to start with a russet potato. This recipe you can um, make up to four baked potatoes. So grab your potatoes. Go ahead and wash them and then dry them up. And now you want to place it on a baking tray and I'm just aligning my tray with foil. And now with a knife or fork you want to just stab it a few times so it doesn't like explode in the oven. At least that's what I heard. I heard if you don't do this, it explodes. I've never done that, but so I have heard. And now you want to just drizzle on a little bit of olive oil and then use clean hands and just massage that all over the potato. And if you'd like, you can sprinkle a little bit of salt right on the potato and then we can go ahead and stick it in the oven. Super easy peasy, right? So you want to bake this at 350 degrees for about an hour. Now we can move on to the broccoli cheddar recipe. This is so good and so easy. You want to do this maybe 15 minutes until the baked potato is done. So you want to start with three cups of almond milk. You'll also want to use one head of broccoli and just go ahead and wash and cut that up into little bite-sized pieces. You can make it even smaller if you don't want the broccoli to be as big, but I, I like this size. You'll also need one cup of cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese is preferred, but you can do this with mild, which is what I'm using today. You'll also need three tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and lastly, three tablespoons of butter. I like buying the stick butter because it has the measurements so you can just cut exactly what you need. So in a medium-sized saucepan, you wanna pour in all of the milk, and then you want to also add the butter and flour as well. So we want to start with this on like a medium, medium low type heat and just mix this together. You want to have everything get all nice and melted and blended together. Um, I'm just using my spoon to kind of break apart the butter to help it melt faster. If you have a whisk, definitely use a whisk so that way you can get all of the flour chunks out a lot quicker. I don't have a whisk so I'm just going to do my best with a spoon, my little wooden spoon here. So I'm just going to keep mixing all of this together. So after stirring for a few minutes, once it's looking nice and smooth, you can go ahead and add the seasonings, which is the garlic powder and salt. And so now it'll season up this soup base that we have. Now go ahead and add in your broccoli and let that start cooking together. I also forgot to mention, you can use frozen broccoli if that's what you have on hand. I just had fresh broccoli, so that's what I use, but frozen broccoli works exactly the same in this recipe as well. And lastly, we want to add in that cheddar cheese and let it melt all together into the soup base that we have and all over the broccoli and just get nice and cheesy and melted and so, so good. Once you have everything nice and melted together, you can go ahead and turn down the heat and just let it simmer. 
and allow it to kind of thicken up a bit. If you're noticing that it's not as thick as you would like it, you'd like the base of this soup to be thicker, you can add in some more flour or even cornstarch to this mixture. Just make sure you sear and melt everything and like blend everything really nicely together. And now it's time to go ahead and pull out our baked potato. It's looking nice and good and you can tell it's done if you can stick a fork or knife in it and it comes out like super easy. Like you can just feel how soft the potato is. That's what you want. If it's still a little hard, stick it back in the oven for a few more minutes. So now here we have our potato and I'm just going to use a fork and knife to cut it in half down the middle like this and just split that open and I like to make the like the potato part like really mashed up here in the middle. It just makes it a lot easier to eat. This is going to be a messy meal like once you start eating so yeah there's no avoiding that but I like when this part is like kind of mashed up a bit. So now that we have that done and our potato is open, we can go ahead and fill it with our broccoli cheddar soup. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. You don't need to add butter or anything because you have this creamy, cheesy, delicious soup going right on top of it. So literally it's like broccoli cheddar soup in a bread bowl, but instead of the bread bowl, you have the potato. The potato is your bread bowl in this recipe. And that is it my friends. That is how you make the broccoli cheddar baked potato. Definitely recommend you guys give this a try. It is so easy, so delicious, and truly filling. This alone like just filled me up so much for dinner. So I hope you guys give this a try. If you'd like more what I eat in a day videos or videos like this where it's a single recipe, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.